Hello again, and uh, welcome back. Welcome back. This is uh, the Finding Information Nonfiction. So, the first, um, uh, the first question, question one, uh, which of these are subheadings? Tick two boxes. Tick two boxes. So, to find out what those are, check up there, and you've got the, your two subheadings uh, here and here. So, you just match them up. So, uh, let's see. So, crested gecko lizards. Okay, that's there, but it's not subheading. That's the main heading. What to feed your gecko. Yep, that's there. So tick what to feed your gecko. Uh, and then uh, they like to eat insects. Yep, that's in there, but it's not a subheading. But um, where to keep your gecko. Yeah, those two. So hopefully you've got ticks for those ones. Um, and then how often should you feed an adult gecko? Right, okay. So what to feed your gecko. You should feed a young gecko daily, but older geckos. Ah, right, okay. So but older geckos only need feeding every two days. Uh, so for this bit here, it's every two days, every two days. You can write that as a whole sentence. Um, you should feed an elk gecko every two days, but two days is fine. And down the bottom, what should you use to heat the gecko's tank? Let's have a look. Gecko should be kept in a large tank. Yep, use a heat lamp. Ah, right, yes, use a heat lamp to heat one side of the tank. So what should you use to heat the gecko's tank? A heat lamp, a heat lamp. Now you can, um, you, could, you could just write a heat lamp or you could write a full sentence that you should use a heat lamp to warm a gecko's tank, anything like that. Um, as long as it's got the word heat lamp, word, sorry, heat lamp in there, you are good. And then after that, I'm going to do this bit down the bottom, but I always forget to tell people about. And then uh, if you're still up for it, if you're up for a bit more, uh, uh, there's a challenge, there's a challenge. Uh, it was a little bit tricky or trickier to um, give you a challenge to do with this kind of thing without just doing the same thing over and over again. And that is a bit useless. So what we've done, uh, what we've done is we've got a short informational um, text that um, I think you should have seen hopefully already um, it's on the plan. And also we've put it up separately on the website and um, short piece of informational text about Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space, uh, the, the, first, uh, the first human in space. Uh, the first cosmonaut in space and uh, what i'd like you to try to do what i'd like you to try to do is to come up come up with some questions of your own to do with the text and then you could maybe uh send them in uh to the office we could send them out to other people or if you've uh, if you've got um if you've got your friends emails from the class you could email the uh, the questions out to other people and then your friends could have a go at answering them or you could come up with some questions and uh, give them to your mum or your dad or uh, an older brother or sister, and you could set them those questions about the Yuri Gagarin text. I'm going to hold this up to them, there's absolutely no point. So have a look at the Yuri Gagarin text, uh, and hopefully you can come up with some interesting questions uh, whose answers are in the text. And um, also today, uh, you should have up uh, the first of the, uh, the Greek uh, myth stories, um, and uh, there will be some little activities at the end of that. If you want even more to do, um, we talked a little bit about that in the Zoom. We're putting that up there for uh, uh, for those who uh, really, really, really want to do even more. You don't have to. It's completely optional. It's not part of um, uh, what we're doing, but uh, it's there in case you need it. So that hopefully, well, when you see this, uh, it should already be up. Fingers crossed. Hope everyone is keeping safe and well, and we shall see you when we see you. Take care.